Hello and welcome to The London Perspective. I'm your host, Stefan, and today we are going to be discussing the latest news from the world of football. In this episode, we'll be talking about the absence of Manchester United forward, Anthony Marshall, from their match against Crystal Palace. As we all know, the Premier League is one of the most competitive leagues in the world, and every player's presence is crucial for their team's success. But unfortunately for Manchester United fans, their star forward, Anthony Marshall, will not be playing in their match against Crystal Palace today. According to the news article, Marshall had been out for two weeks following the Manchester derby and played the final 27 minutes of a Carabao Cup semi-final, but he suffered a setback, according to Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag. Eric Ten Hag. He had a setback from the game when he returned, he boss told MUTV prior to kick-off. He thought he could build up, but he dropped a little bit back. We have to wait, we have to be patient not to force it. This is definitely a blow for Manchester United and for the fans, who have seen Marshall score six times in 14 appearances this season. But, at the same time, it's important for the player to recover and not to rush back too soon, as Eric Ten Hag mentions. Loan signing Woot Weghorst will be leading the line for Manchester United today, with Anthony, Marcus Rashford and Bruno Fernandes playing behind him. And while Weghorst is a talented player in his own right, it's clear that the team will miss the impact that Marshall brings to the field. But let's not forget, football is a team sport, and Manchester United has a strong squad that can still deliver results even without one of their key players. And while it's never easy to see a player miss out on the action, it's important to remember that the most important thing is their health and well-being. So, let's all wish Anthony Marshall a speedy recovery and hope that we can see him back on the field soon, scoring goals and helping Manchester United win matches. And that's all for today's episode of The London Perspective. I hope you enjoyed this discussion on the latest news from the world of football. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to reach out to us on our social media platforms. And don't forget to tune in to our next episode, where we'll be discussing another hot topic in the world of sports. Until then, stay safe and take care.